So we're gonna play Goosebumps again, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Fun in the sun. Well, in the pumpkin sun. Actually, fun in the moon. Yes. So, yeah, this is gonna be a spooky game. Player beware, in for a scare. Being careful not to make a sound, you lean in front of Dahlia and pour the bottle's contents into her glass. She awakens with a start and resumes sipping at her glass, as if nothing happened. After several sips, Dahlia realizes something is wrong and begins coughing. Looks like the prune juice works both ways. <laughs> what? What did you do? She collapses on the table, clawing toward you. You little punk! How dare you! You notice a loud hissing sound slowly building from deep within the within the woman. She falls to the ground and begins to melt out of existence. Nothing remains in her place except a small cassette tape. Ooh, a cassette tape. Ooh. Okay, uh... So you got rid of the lady. Ooh. Look at it first, maybe. Now you just need to, a way to listen to it. But look at it in the inventory. So we know something about it. There's music on it, but you can't hear it without a cassette player. Okay. I think there's something like that in the living room. Now you can use the sponge, or maybe you can get the, the, the potion out of the... You squeeze the sponge, holding it as far away from yourself as possible. A bit of water seeps between your fingers. Yeah. You win this... Oh, okay, you gotta empty the sponge. So first, go to the sink, squeeze it out over the sink, and then the sponge will be empty, then you can pick up the glass. Entryway... I don't remember where the... Oh, what's going on now? Yikes! Three children materialize before your eyes, which you are rubbing in disbelief. This really is a haunted house. He's a kid about your age, though his clothes are a few years out of date. He's also flickering in and out of your vision periodically. A translucent little boy, much younger than you. You'd guess seven or eight years old. Angry girl. You aren't quite sure how this girl got here. She doesn't seem at all happy to see you, though. So which one would you talk with well, first? Well, I kind of want to see the map. They're like bad or and also how to get to the kitchen. So that would, that would be up and then right. That's the question. Okay, so they're bad. But you can probably talk with them. I mean, who looks the safest to talk with, first of all? Yeah. You try to get his attention and he looks toward you. I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. He looks away embarrassed. After a moment he continues. You believe me, don't you? The boy mumbles quietly as you approach. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot into the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll wake mom and dad. So there is a song that he can find. As long as it doesn't wake mom and dad. Interesting. No sooner do you look in her direction than she starts shouting. Oh. Jeez. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed in. Go away, go away, go away. She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grumbles. I was born on a leap year. I know things. Yeah. I was thinking that. I'm the sweetest looking character. That's not funny. You made him sad, huh? Uh, because it's lost dawn. What about the tough boy? He stares at the flyer, then back at you. His hollow eyes bore into you. Okay, he doesn't like that either. I wouldn't do the girl. Why? 
I don't know. I just have a feeling she would be like she's a bad idea to talk with her. It seems like maybe a flower would make her happy. I don't know. No, she hits the blue ro rose right out of your hand. You just want to take all my stuff. Well, you can't. I locked my room. Okay, so there is a room that's locked. It's hers somehow. Yeah. It was amazing how you managed to get the uh, Aunt Dahlia to disappear. He stares at the strong kid, then back at you. His what would make him happy? Yeah, probably. What would make him happy? But there's probably something that's for them. So maybe she likes the horse book? Wait, he said he wants to have music. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe she likes the horse book. No. You want to try the kitchen thing? To empty the sponge, get the potion and... The yeah, but what happens if we pass them? They're red uh, on the map. But that's not what happened with, uh, with Aunt Dahlia. Besides, he saved. Nothing new happened, so... Oh. It's a way to figure out. Oh, the, it's stoically shut. You can feel a strange energy around it and assume it's locked for the time being. Well, let's see if you can go around that. Well, that's what they say about ghosts, you know, that they're stuck in... The reason they're stuck in the world is because they, they're they stuck on thoughts, things they hate, things they miss, things they... You know? They're not free in their mind. Yeah, it did look like maybe you could go back. There was a way to go back. But, but you still haven't tried to pass them that way. You hurry across the foyer into the dining room. Okay. It feels empty without Dahlia here, like the house's gaping maw, eager to swallow you whole. Well, let's squeeze out the sponge in the sink. That's the doorway. Okay. Maybe the hallway. Oh, it was right, though. But well, you haven't checked this yet. The stuff on the table. Coffee table. Great for doing homework. Okay. There might be something in there to play the cassette on later, but let's check this. Afterwards, we can try the cassette in the living room. Squeeze the sponge out. That area. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's not. Yeah, that might be something. This laundry chute comes from the upstairs bathroom. You look up through the opening, but can't see anything notable. Maybe when you get a flash. They have flashlight on my phone. Nah. Uh. Oh. So let's check the video player over the TV. This one. Okay. What happens if we turn it off? Well, you can try it again. Okay, it looks like it's broken. So it's like we have to fix the electricity here also somehow. But maybe while we're here, you can try to put the cassette, still, you can just try to put the cassette in the gaming machine or in the VCR. Uh, you start messing with the cassette. After a few minutes, you notice the black tape inside is starting to unspool. Ah. What now? Is it ruined? You scramble around looking for a solution, but nothing presents itself. Out of options, you stick your pinky finger into the spokes and turn. Like you do with cassettes. The plastic teeth bite into your skin. It really hurts. 
Fortunately, your idea works, and the black tape gradually pulls back into place. You have no idea if it will still play, but at least nobody will know what you did. I think it will still play. But what about on the VCR? Hmm. Well, yeah, it's still worth a try. Okay, so, yeah. Power plug? It doesn't count. And also, there was something about these. You could interact with those. The placemats. A fancy placemat frilled with lace. Far too upscale for any of your family dinners. You know what? Can you put a plate down there? Something inside you wants nothing more than to fling the plate as hard as you can. You fight the urge. Somehow you fight the urge. Oh, you can take a placemat. Okay. You roll up the placemat and take it for later. Interesting. Huh. You hope the situation resolves soon. You'll never get used to ghosts living downstairs. Interesting. Can you go upstairs? Yeah. The, st the staircase leads to the second floor. Nervously ascend the stairs to rooms unknown. This staircase connects to the first and second floors of the house. Wow, look at those paintings. You've never seen this portrait before. It looks like a creepy sea captain. Maybe it's grandpa before you were born. Probably not. What about the other one? You can't shake the feeling something is missing from this painting. Well, I had. Yeah. A little girl, maybe. She looks a little old for the rest of this picture. Who picked these out? I'm kind of scared of going higher. I think we need to find more things, so I think we do need to explore. And it's supposed to be scary. <laughs> This is the nearest hallway when you get to the second floor. What can be worse than the ghost you already have? You drop up the stairs into the first hallway. You stand in the upstairs hallway which seems relatively untouched. Okay, let's check the stuff here. The, the, yeah, the table and then after that also the wallpaper. This you always thought this end table was a bit spooky looking, but compared to the stuff you've seen today, not anymore. Ah, let's look at that. The paintings there. The kids. A, fa fa a familiar family photograph. Comforting. So this is uh, paintings of your family? Let's see the other stuff on the table. The, the other picture. You hear those laughing? I don't exactly hear laughing. It's just getting scarier and scarier. And checking the wallpaper that's falling apart yeah, could also I, be a thing. I'm, okay. I'm clicking on the right. yeah. Sturdy. The study is through here where dad keeps the family computer. Ah, that could be something. I could give some clues. Your room. This leads into your bedroom, just like it should. Okay, so this upstairs part is somehow familiar to you. It's more like how your house is supposed to be. More like it, I'm supposed to be. That door leads into the guest room, but something is blocking the door. So that's the door that the girl was shouting in front? Yeah. They're saying they have their room. The key should be around somewhere. It's locked. Oh, it won't wait. open. Mom's right. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. Because <laughs> you need to find key. No. 
There's not even a lock on the door, but it's not opening. It feels like someone's on the other side, holding it shut. Ooh, that's creepy. Is there anything you can try on the door? Like, maybe the spade can help you to... to pry open the door? Or maybe my own keys? Maybe. Locker key? Can you try? That isn't your locker, okay. I guess that's the clue that it has to be your locker. Okay. So we need to find something that makes it possible to go inside upstairs. We need to do something about these kids. Then, then they'll let us through, probably. Definitely, we need to do something about them, yeah. Because we managed to get on Dahlia, just... Needs to be. Yeah. Strange portraits hang on the wall. They're not of anyone you recognize. What about the dying plant? The plant looks about how you feel. What's going on? Where's your family? Are they safe? Yeah, maybe call, try again to kill them. You call your mother and the telephone phone rings twice before she picks up. Hi there, Sean. Make sure you check the mail. Ah, that's a clue. Check the mailbox. Yeah. I'm expecting something for your father's birthday. Ooh, maybe that could be helpful. Please take a look in the mailbox when you walk by. Thanks so much. She hangs up. Why not about my brother? Dial your brother's number. Just a busy signal. Yeah, yeah, maybe it could be a good thing to go outside and check the mailbox. Yeah. The vibe in here is too much, so you head back outside for some air. They're standing on the porch of the house, yeah. Yeah, very smooth. There you go. Yeah. So let's check your mailbox. You open your mailbox hoping there's something in there for you. Ah. Phillips. Letter. It's a letter, but it's addressed to someone you've never heard of. It must be a past resident. Take the letter out of the mailbox. Coupons. It's a sheet of coupons for the local dairy freeze. You make a note to go there this week. You slip the coupons into your bag. Can you look at the letter? on the right street. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lived here used to babysit you. Strange that you can't knock there, though. You gonna do use on the letter? Maybe open it, read it, see what's inside? You can. Oh, yes. Use, and then, like, just, like, anywhere. Not on the thing, but, like, just... Maybe just... You consider opening the letter, but decide that it would be wrong since it's not addressed to you. Okay. I would open it in this situation, e like, okay, I'm in a dangerous place, I don't know where my family is, my house is gone, turned to a haunted house, I there's a ghost in my house, angry at me, <laughs> very creepy, there's a new lady in the neighborhood where her dog is crazy, I just passed... <laughs> a man that has grass and bugs all over his place. Yeah. Like I can, I need to open this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this is a situation where you could open this. 
I wonder what they would say about the mail. Yeah, maybe it's all for Yeah. He takes the envelope eagerly, confirming his name on the address. He t tears it open, reading the enclosed letter with much interest. Mm. He, as he reaches the end, the ghost looks to you and smiles. He seems to be at peace. Just as suddenly as he appeared, the child's child fades out of you. Okay, so that you feel his presence leaving the house gently. A moment later, the basement door unlocks with a resounding click. Okay. Ah, and there's something there. Photo paper. You can't be sure, but this looks like an undeveloped photograph. You've seen the photo kids at school with similar ones. Something needs to happen new now that they got rid of the first boy. Yeah. It's like there's a puzzle for each one. Did she say what she was angry about? I've been living here for 35 years. It's not your house. Anger ripples across her face. And stay out of my room. It's no boys allowed upstairs. So I think maybe we actually have to get into her room somehow. I think you're supposed to like put it on some table with the plate on and put a sandwich on it or something like that. Mm. I feel like. Or you need it to step somewhere quietly. So should I call somebody again? Then my bad is gonna run out. Uh, no, but you can go to rooms and look at things more. Yeah, because his you, you haven't been much in the in the living room and in the couch there maybe you can look in the couch he did it did open he did open one of his rooms oh did he yeah oh oh good thing you remember that What? Well, no, no, do the same thing again. I have to read the thing about the key. The key should be around somewhere. Okay, that's something. The key should be around somewhere. So, yeah. I want to see you play a little bit. Sure. You, your brother hid under this rug once, in the worst hide-and-seek decision ever. Yeah, because he's big, and then you can tell his feet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but since we're trying this one, let's, let's just finish trying this one like this. You jab the spade at it ineffectually. Okay, so this this is the last turn. Did he go to his room? Was that what he said he did? No, I don't know where he went. It vibrates a little bit there. I know. It vibrates a monster. Oh, okay. So that's nothing new. Chandelier. Sometimes at night this light flickers. It's the creepiest thing. So there's something about the electricity in this house that's also not the best. Okay, I also wanted to try this. Quite wrap around it. I think we need to 
Use it to wrap around something. Okay, you just want to throw it again. So maybe like we need to use it as a target for something? Yeah, maybe we do need to throw it at something, break something. you look close at the clock, I checked out all the tabs, and this one is looser than the other ones. All the other tabs uh, set the same thing on, but this one is looser, looser than the others. Can they be, be removed? I tried with my shovel, that did not work. You with your shovel. And I tried the talisman on, on the pendulum to see if I could get it to move or something. Mm, uh, so that was the clock thing uh, and then I went here and then the next thing that I found out is that in here you can open it and you can the dryer is empty but you can clean you reach in and grab all the fuzz in the lint trap there's no trash can nearby, so you just subtly drop it on the floor and kick it under the dryer. That's all about that. I have an idea. Maybe give me. I'm some still showing you what okay. I. Okay. With the dryer sheets, you can actually. This is this is what I exactly want to do. You leave a dryer sheet behind to fight an to fight any potential static electricity. So those wipers. If we find a cable or something, something with electricity, those papers can help to st prevent you from getting electrocuted. Seems. We learned that by doing that there. Yeah. Uh, 
Am I forgetting something? And then I went out here. Do it before you go. Okay. It's really important. Alright. And I just looked at the map again. And thinking this about that this place is still red. Yeah. Maybe we can go there and fight it with our tools. Maybe we can throw a plate at it. And, uh, this is the classic what I want to just tell you about this. Or spray it with the poison. But I would look around more here also. And maybe go to the janitor. Remember I said there were things in the pipe tunnel that you that you didn't investigate. See? There's stuff there. Paper and water. Cup. You're pretty sure it's water, but it shimmers with a blackness that normal water doesn't have. Are you putting soap in it with it? Squeeze it, but not quite enough, uh, and you just make a soap bubble come out, okay? Okay, we've done that before. I just want to know how, how close we are to the monster. Uh, okay, you can't, you can't do it inside the tunnel. But let's look at the last few things here, and then move back in the direction you want to go, and then check the map. Okay, so that you can't look at the paper. What about the hole again? No, no, when we jumped into the hole, we just fell forever and died. Oh. Oh, but you can't just look at it without jumping? Far in the distance, you hear a sound like the ocean. All oh, right. Oh, yeah, and this, using the sponge in the water, maybe. The sound of splashing footsteps freezes. That might have been worth hearing. I just want to know. Um, where he so it's down one more and then to the right. I wouldn't find the map. I don't know why, because we got all these new stuff. I kind of want to go back to the house. It could be that there's something you need to clear to get things, to be able to do other things. You can check the janitor, I mean, but sure, you know, you found some solutions, so. Wait, a sec. Um, let's go to the, I have an idea. And if we go to the and go to the claw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Feel better now because nothing happened. <laughs> okay. You hit the clock tab with your locker key. Feel better now? I thought like maybe if Yeah, you could pry it open with the key. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I also tried that. Something about this room we haven't like something there needs to be something in this room that we're missing. But or there's oh, definitely something we're missing, that's for sure. Or I kinda wanted to go here okay. to this magical closet. Yeah. I gotta check this with it. Does now one of these exist? Does not exist. This. That is the way, one way, a possibility. There's like a lot of toys and stuff floating around. Maybe you can throw a toy in there? You can reach the height of eternity.
There needs to be something about these doors. Yeah. What happened, um... When we go through this door... We drift away. And we just go on. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait! That's what I was about to do. Yeah, but again, it says... Cause, oh, there's toy soldiers. I still haven't noticed that before. Search. You can search. You force your hands into the dirt and boot around. It's cool to the touch, but you aren't finding anything of interest. Oh. Ah, the good old tire swing. You got a lot of memories tied up in this wheel of fun. a store that accepts those coupons. Maybe you can go to a store. <laughs> so he didn't like the cassette. Not a coupon. Maybe he said that she might like the horse. Yeah, no, she didn't after all. We need to think about also what she said. Yeah, she said that she locked the room. That's also true. She locked the room. She locked the room. So it could be that when we make but her happy think... to go, she will, we will get the key. And she also said she thinks that we're going to steal her stuff. Yeah. But that mm. might bring something bad that we might have stole her thing and maybe that's when you bring her. Maybe. Yeah, I, I definitely think that if we manage to look into the room, it will move the story forward somehow. But I don't know if we need to talk with her to get into the room or we need to find a way into the room to get, talk to her further. Which has to happen first. Oh, well, I was thinking about spraying <laughs> weed killer on them. But <laughs> yeah, I'm the angry killer. <laughs> no, she ain't the weed killer. So she's all hung up on the idea that some the people are out to take her stuff. Maybe the the janitor is home now. Maybe now he's home. Time has moved on. Now he's home. Maybe now he can uh, he has some things that can help you. Maybe. Oh. What? How did we never discover this before? Oh. Th wait, let me read this. The basement is dark and musty. Sweltering heat builds as the furnace kicks on. You don't want to be down here any longer than necessary. Yeah, and that that's probably what the kid told us. Yeah. Was he said he opened a room. Oh, oh. So it was this one. Yeah. Can I see how it connects on the map? Like how it connects to the other rooms? Like where, where it is from the foyer? So that's for the kid. So it's to the right from them. Okay. Look, this tar terrifying iron creature stands immobile against the wall, breathing coal and coughing smoke. Our you can feel the heat from here reaching toward you, taunting. I would actually say now because it might do something dangerous. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Enter. And by the way, the screws upstairs. Here there's tools. Mm. Remember no. the screws under the sink? Yeah. Yeah. No so much no. Hmm. Closet. It's a handy storage closet. Okay. 
It's not locked. The door slides open easily. Ooh, a coat hanger. In these point-and-click games, coat hangers are often used. It's a lonely wire hanger, yeah. It can be used to pull things out of sinks, out of deep pools. There's a hook on it. You can bend it in any shape. So that's great that you found that. Step ladder. Huh. A small portable step ladder. Ooh, that could be handy. I, I already know what to use it for. Where? Wait for the surprise. Okay. But don't rush there now. Let's finish. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You shove the step ladder into your pack. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Decoration. Bunch of old Halloween stuff. Right. Portrait. Ah. I didn't, it looks like a large picture frame for hanging portraits. There's not a picture in it though. But maybe you're gonna put in the picture that you'll take one time. We we'll take the large frame. That was good that you noticed that. I didn't notice that at all. You hold it up inside the frame. It looks pretty nice. You'll definitely keep this in mind for art class. Basically, another way of saying, at some point, the papers will fit in there. Tool rack. Yes, a lot of interesting tools hang from the tool rack. Mm -hmm. okay. On closer inspections, these are just painted on. What? They're just painted on? They're not real tools? Oh. What? What about those? Is that a different? Toolbox, see? Good. It's the large toolbox your family uses to make repairs around the house. Good. Inside, there's a standard flathead screwdriver. You reach in and take it out. Yes, you got the screwdriver. Anything else? Oh, and I know what to use the screwdriver for also. Me too. I don't know if we have the same idea, but it's a little too big to fit into your pack. You can open it and take things from inside it, though. You're telling me <laughs> this is too big for your pack, and this is not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Vines. See, this is used to hold things uh, shut. Look. It's a vise. These are used to hold objects in place so you can work on them with tools. Yeah. So maybe you could like, at some point you will have to put the coat hanger in there, close it shut, and then you can bend it how you want. Maybe. But I think uh, we... Turn. See? You can turn the vise, which offers more resistance than you expected. So it's tougher to turn than you expected. Ooh! As you turn it, a panel slides away to reveal a hidden passage. What? Definitely say before you go in there. Okay, wow. Sorry about the quick cut here, but yeah, wow. We found a whole new passageway. In this episode, we did quite a lot of point and click grinding, figuring things out, getting the lay of the land. In the following episode, though, things are going to get a lot more hectic and bewildering. So stay tuned to stay in the Halloween mode.